In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the LastPass password manager to store your usernames and passwords and improve your online security. By the end of the video, you go from less to no security and this includes things like using one password for all your accounts or writing down your password somewhere to maximum security using the LastPass password manager. This video is basically a LastPass tutorial where I will walk through how you can get access to LastPass, how you can import your old usernames and passwords, how you can enable two-factor authentication on LastPass, and last but not least, I'll show you how to create an emergency contact. That should, God forbid, something happen to you, one of your loved ones can get into your accounts. In essence, this makes LastPass work a little bit like a digital wheel, but please note that this emergency contact has to be someone with a LastPass account. LastPass is free, but it gives you a 30-day trial of premium. And if you decide you want to keep premium after the 30-day trial, it will only cost you $3 per month. The other category is families, and it is $4 per month, and you can have up to 6 users. The first thing that you want to do is to get LastPass. So please use the link in the description below to open LastPass. Once it opens up, click on where it says Get LastPass Free. You'll be directed to create an account. So just put in your email and your master password. The master password is the only password you ever have to remember, and it has to be 12 characters long. The other requirements are that you need to have a number, at least one lowercase letter, and at least one uppercase letter. The best way to come up with a secure master password is to use a passphrase. So something like, I sleep at 12. As you can see, it is a strong password. Now let me just hide this, and then put in my real password, and then confirm the password as well. You can optionally put in a reminder, but I'm not going to do that. And then just click on sign up, it's free. If everything went well, we'll get this confirmation message, which means that we now have a LastPass account. The next thing that we need to do is to install LastPass. You can use LastPass on all your devices, and all you have to do is to install it. On your computer, you install the browser extension for each of the browsers that you use. In this instance, I am using Chrome, and all I have to do is click on install LastPass. This will open the Chrome Web Store, and then all I have to do is click on Add to Chrome. It will then show a pop-up of what the LastPass extension can do, and if you agree, click on Add extension. If everything went well, you get a confirmation that LastPass was added to Chrome. As you can see, the LastPass extension is grayed out. This is because we haven't logged in. So what we need to do next is to just click on the extension and log in. So just put in your email and then put in your master password. You can keep remember email checked so that the next time you log into LastPass, it will automatically put in your email. Then click on login to log in. Notice here that the LastPass extension is no longer grayed out, but is now red because we've logged in. Let me just close these other tabs that we're no longer using. Usually when you log in, it takes you straight to the vault, but as you can see in this case, it didn't. So all you have to do is just click on the extension and then click on open my vault. This will open the vault for you. At the top, you've got an option for a show me around tutorial. I'm gonna click on later, but if you want to see the tutorial, you can click show me around, and if you never wanna see the tutorial, you can click on never. Now we need to add passwords to LastPass, and by doing so, we'll never have to remember a password because that's what LastPass will do for us. There are basically three ways to add passwords to LastPass. The first one is a manual process, and you do it by clicking add item at the bottom. When you over add item, the option for add new folder will come up. You can use this option if you want to group passwords together. I'm not going to do that and I'll just click on add item. A pop-up will open with the types of items you can add, which include passwords, addresses, and bank accounts. You can click on more items to see the other items that you can store in LastPass, such as email accounts, Wi-Fi passwords, instant messenger, software licenses, and you can also create your own custom item type. Since we are adding a password, I'm just going to click on password and then enter the URL of the website. In this instance, I want to add gmail.com, and if I click on the dropdown, it is part of the defaults. So I can just select it here. If it is not part of the defaults, you need to type in the URL, such as netflix.com. Notice here that it has put in optional values for name and folder. The folder is email, which is fine because this is Gmail, but the name is Google. I'm not happy with that, so I'm just going to change this to main Gmail. Just as I've mentioned, the name is optional, but it will help you search for a password as you'll see later. Now let me just put in the username and then the password. Notice here, LastPass automatically assesses the strength of your password and in this case, I'm good. There are other options that you can select for this password, such as require master password reprompt and auto login. To see these options, just click on advanced settings. Once you're happy with everything, just click on save to save your password. And as you can see, our password was saved. The second way to add passwords to LastPass is to manually add the passwords to LastPass as you log into that particular website. And I'm going to demonstrate this using Leeches, which is a website that I use to play chess. 
So just open Leachers, click on sign in. So this can be any website that you use. Put in the username or email. Just gonna put my email and then put in the password and then click on sign in. As you can see, Chrome has detected that my password might have been exposed, so I just need to change it. I'm just gonna close this. But what I want you to focus on is this add to LastPass pop-up. I got this pop-up for this site and all I have to do to add my password to LastPass is click on add. And if I go back to the vote and just refresh, you can see I now have Leeches saved. So this is the second way to add passwords to LastPass. So let me go back to Leeches and then sign out. And as you can see, LastPass has already filled the details for me. If you didn't fill the details or if you have more than one account, all you have to do is click on the extension and then select the account that you want and then it will fill the details for you. Let me just close this. The third way you can import passwords to LastPass is to import them automatically. To import passwords automatically, what you have to do is to click on more options here, select advanced and then click on import. And then click on the drop down under source to select where you want to import your passwords from. As you can see, you can import passwords from a CSV file or from another password manager. The ones mentioned here are the Chrome password manager, one password, Dashlane, etc. To see the format of the CSV file, just select generic CSV file here and then click on instructions on importing from this source. When it opens up, click on the link that says, how do I import stored data into LastPass using a generic CSV? When the page opens, just scroll down to see the columns that are supposed to be in your CSV file. Now let me just close this and just leave my vote open and let's move on to adding payment cards and addresses. You want to add payment cards and addresses so as to simplify your online shopping. To add a payment card, you can click on the add item button and then click on payment card and then you can put in the details or you can click on payment cards on the sidebar and then click on the add item button and then you can put in the payment card details. Add the name for the card so that you can be able to search for it when you want to use it. And then when you are done adding the details for the card, just click on save to save it. As you can see, our demo card was saved. You will have to repeat this process to add all the cards that you want. To add addresses, click on addresses on the sidebar and then click on the add item button. Let's give our address a name. I'm going to call it demo address and then fill in the important information used for shipping such as the address itself, your email address and phone number. You'll have to scroll down to find the email address and phone number fields. Once you've put in the details, just click on save to save the address. As you can see, our address demo address was saved. Like the payment cards, you'll have to repeat this process for all the billing and shipping addresses that you want to add. Now when you get to checkout, simply click on the LastPass extension icon in the browser and then select the address that you want to use. I only have one address and one card, that's why they are being displayed there. But if I were to search for address, it will just filter with the address that has got the name address in it. Notice here that these fields are not filled. And then when I select the demo address, it then auto fills the fields. This is how LastPass can simplify your online shopping. Let me just close this and go into question time. What do you think happens if you forget your master password? Please let me know in the comments below and watch until the end for the answer. Next up is enabling LastPass two-factor authentication. Enabling two-factor authentication, also called 2FA, adds an extra layer of security to your LastPass account. Once two-factor authentication is enabled, on top of a username and master password, you will also need to enter a code. This means that even if your master password is compromised, the thief would also need to get your phone to get into your LastPass account. To enable two-factor authentication, click on account settings on the sidebar and then select multi-factor options. Once it opens up, select the multi-factor option that you want to use. I'm going to use Google Authenticator as I already have it on my phone, but you are free to choose any other option. So just click on this pencil edit thing on Google Authenticator or the choice of your multi-factor option. And then once it opens up, change enabled from no to yes. You can then either scan the barcode or enter the private key. I'm going to use the private key. So click on view alongside the private key and then enter your master password. Click on continue and then the private key will be displayed to you. Then open Google Authenticator and add LastPass using the private key. Once done, click on OK and then click on Update. Re-enter the master password and then click on Continue. It will then ask you to enter the code on Google Authenticator to verify that everything is set up correctly. So just put in the code that is on Google Authenticator and then click on OK. If everything went fine, you get a confirmation saying settings updated and then just click on OK. 
As you can see, Google Authenticator is now enabled. Let me just close this. And now, last but not least, let us set up Emergency Access. As I said before, Emergency Access allows close family or friends to access your LastPass account in the event of a crisis or emergency. To set up Emergency Access, click Emergency Access on the sidebar. And as you can see, Emergency Access is a premium feature and you have to upgrade to get it. I cover upgrading and the full process of setting up the Emergency Access in the next video. Now to answer the question, if you forget your master password for your LastPass account, you can regain access to your account by using the mobile account recovery for iOS or Android, a password hint, a recovery one-time password, SMS recovery, or reverting to an old password. To make sure that you have SMS recovery, click on account settings on the sidebar and then scroll down to SMS account recovery. So I'm just gonna close this, click on account settings. Then I'm just gonna scroll down to SMS account recovery. As you can see, it says not set. So what you need to do is to click on update phone. When it opens up, just click on add number, re-enter your LastPass master password, and then click on continue. Choose your country code, and then put in your number, and then click on send test code. You should receive an SMS on your phone with a code that you just need to put in there. So put in the verification code, and then click on verify. And as you can see, our phone number has been verified. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to support us. In the next videos, I'll show you how to install LastPass on a mobile device as well as other features that I didn't cover in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.